Hey guys, Jacqueline Fernandez here. Today we are talking about how to protect yourself using ChatGPT. This is every Friday around noon or every other Friday or when I have a chance to get here at noon on Friday, we start talking about tips that the Better Business Bureau gives to me um, via email and online and that kind of thing. So thanks for uh, joining me today. I appreciate your time. So again, here's how to protect yourself using ChatGPT. That is the topic of the day. So let's head over here real quick. Okay, so are robots coming to steal your time, money, and maybe even your heart? Recent technology advances have created new AI-related security threats, and while they don't look like what you've seen in the movies, you might be at risk. So let's talk about um, what is ChatGPT. So if you look at this website, introducing ChatGPT, is a conversational AI model developed by OpenAI, here's the developer, that can mimic human language and generate coherent and natural responses to text-based input. It's designed to learn from massive amounts of online data, soaking up what's available on the web, and then recycling information and phrasing to respond to questions. Now, so far it's been used for various legitimate purposes like chatbots and language translation. However, scammers and cyber criminals have also taken advantage of AI's capabilities for malicious purposes. So here are some potential risks to look out for. Scammers use chat P GPT to make their malware threats, phishing attempts, and fake profiles more convincing and interactive. So if we start with um, phishing scams is one of the uh, main scams that chat GTP scammers like to use. So they mimic le legitimate organizations like banks, um, social media companies. Here's a scam alert out of Central East Texas on the BBB's website or government agencies. The scammer sends an unsolicited message to the victim via email, again on the BBB tip how to recognize a phony email, or messaging app, and then prompts them to click a link or provide personal information. Never a good idea to do so. The message can appear legitimate since ChatGPT can generate compelling messages modeled after content from the legitimate actual bank, government agency, or other organization. However, clicking the link or providing personal information can, of course, lead to identity theft or financial loss. So again, if you want to know who you're chatting with, um, look for a reliable source, this kind of thing. So those are phishing scams. Another scam impersonation scams. So scammers can use AI generated content to impersonate people that you know, like your boss, a coworker, a family member even, and then convince you to provide sensitive information or transfer money. Again, you want to know who the other person is on the other side, right? The scammer generates an art articulate and free-flowing conversation that appears to be from the person they're impersonating. So this is essentially making it a little bit more difficult for you to detect the fraud. Next up, going to malware, imposter scams, malware and viruses. Cyber criminals can use ChatGPT to spread malware and viruses. AI allows them pr to produce a conversation that appears to be from a legitimate source, like a friend or colleague, and then prompts the victim to click on a link or download a file. And once the victim clicks on the link or downloads the file, their device can be infected with malware or viruses. And that's something here at WWT we try to take a look out for, keep an eye out for on our uh, personal email accounts too. So if it's questionable, don't click it. <laughs> Chat GPT romance scams. So are you sure it's a human causing your heart to flutter, right? So romance scams are a type of fraud where scammers create fake social media profiles on dating websites or social media profiles to establish romantic relationships. They then use this relationship to gain trust of their victims and eventually convince them to send money or private personal information. So again, it just doesn't seem like a good idea to send your personal information out, regardless of who you think you may or may not be talking to. Uh, let's see, purchasing scams. Bad actors are using ChatGPT to trick people into buying fake goods. They create a conversation that appears to be from a legitimate seller and then convince the victim to purchase products or, or services, excuse me. So scammers trick victims into digital funds transfer. So again, it's all your personal information that these scammers want, right? And ChatGPT is um, unfortunately making that a little bit easier for them to scam you out of your personal information, credit card information, identity, all of that. So a quick rundown now. 
for how to hello, protect yourself from cyber criminals using ChatGPT. Be conscious of these unsolicited messages. Be cautious of them. Verify the identity of the person that you're chatting with. You want to know the person on the other side of this chat GPT is really who you think this person is, right? Scrutinize the text. Chat GPT will use a lot of words and phrases repeatedly, so that's kind of one thing you can look out for. Use two-factor fa two authentication for online accounts. I know this is a headache. I personally am not a big fan, but there's a reason for it, right? So make sure that you uh, do have that option available to you. Use the password manager to generate really strong passwords. Um, you don't want to use, you know, the year you were born or the word love or, you know, this kind of thing. So um, those are the easy ones that scammers will um, likely try first and then kind of go from there. Uh, be cautious when downloading or clicking on links or files, especially on your personal computer. You can introduce malware onto your computer and, you know, then go from there. So. Use caution when talking to strangers, something we practice typically in everyday life, so that should translate to the online platform as well. And then make sure you educate yourself with the uh, latest scams and fraud tactics that are out there. They're using chat GPT to scammers to trick people to giving away personal information and money. Of course, they would love to take you for everything you've got, but being cautious can protect you from these AI-generated threats. So always something new on the horizon there. So those are just some tips for you. Before we go though, let's take a live look out at the Nebraska Department of Transportation camera. We're looking out at a highway here. I'm not sure which one it doesn't say on the screen, but traffic looks to be flowing smoothly. And what I love about this picture, this live look, there's actually sunshine out there, right? So blue skies, a little bit of clouds on the horizon. So not too bad. Another live look for you. Yeah, so far a beautiful day out there. It looks like the lens might be a little um, splotchy, but other than that, all is well in the neighborhood, but of course you want to stay tuned for first at three and then live at four, five and six thirty and ten for the latest from our meteorologists. So thank you again for joining me on this BBB Alert Day Friday. I hope you have a fabulous weekend and hopefully catch some rays out there today. See you later.